Anyway, we headed to dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. The only thing in my room is the fake sword covered in gold. That'd be so creepy if that was real life. Like, if you went to, into, like, somebody's room and all they had in there, other than, like, their bed and stuff, was just a, a f golden sword. <laughs> a fake golden a sword. A fake golden sword. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Uh, absolutely sure. As you live out your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates and deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. Get these presents for the mono mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. Strongly, st strongly, we strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain time of amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end, and the story will progress. If you're not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try it out by spending out some time with Miss Sayaka Maizano? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? She is an ideal partner. Alright. Just use the map. Alright, damn. Sorry, wrong thing. Okay. Um. Let's see. We do not want to do that. No, we don't want to. I don't want to hang out with fucking stupid Biaki boy. Um. Is, is Sayaka the only one we can do it with? We can also go to dining hall and hang out with Kyokris and Junko. I do like that... idea. Hi! Oh, Junko! 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 Mm. Hi. Aww. Getting stuck in here is like totally disgusting. <laughs> Thank you for that. <sighs> I want to get out of here. Hi. But They just have a little bit of dialogue. Oh, okay. We can only do free time with Sayaka for now, but we can just talk to the others. Hi. Oh man, this is this is like the the point of view. I'm like looking. I'm like. It is. Look. I am. I am. Fucking Makoto size. Titty height. He's I am a titty height. I am lucky bastard. Titty height. This is where all his luck went. Well, let's go hang out with, with, uh... Celeste. Celeste. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go see Celeste. Alright, damn. God damn. Alright, chill. You knew what you were getting into. <laughs> if I could have a game that was just Celestia Ludenberg, I'd do it. I know you would. Hi. Everyone's working hard trying to find an exit, are they not? Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. I have no such interest in such menial labor. She's pretty relatable though, like... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, me either. Me either, champ. Alright, we can go hang out with Sayaka now. Uh, wait, no, hold on. One more set of characters that we have to go talk to. Uh, no, stop. Um... Where, where are, uh, we gotta go, oh, of course, of course the lesbians are in the kitchen. Um, how do we get there again? Hold on. Just use the map! It won't let me! Like, I go to the map, right, okay? I can't, I can't, it doesn't let me. Alright, fine. You're so mean to me all the time. <laughs> Just use the map, shut up! Fuck you. That's because I'm, I'm still less than your Hifumi. Okay, uh, that's so mean. Hi. <laughs> Why? Why is Hope's Peak Academy like that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mood. 
Why is Hope Speak Academy like this? You ask yourself that every day, I bet. <laughs> you, you don't have to be kidnapped to ask that. <laughs> Hi, Blast. Welcome, Blast. Very bizarre. Hi, Blast. I don't know what that is. Laundry, bath, uh... Go into the dining hall, and then from the dining hall, you can enter the kitchen. Okay. Damn, I'm, I I would have figured that out. Okay. I like how the, the moment the game lets us do anything, I'm like, <laughs> Celeste, where where did the lesbians go? Is it this way, perhaps? How did how did Sakura get through there? That's a very thin doorway. Hey, girlies. Hi, Hina. Um. Sideways. Hi. Did you find a way out of here? I didn't find a thing. Nothing. Zippo zilch. Lost all my motivation. They're all this foof, though. Ugh. How do we get out of no, here? No, I'm Just I'm Sakura. Me. I'm Sakura. Excuse you. Excuse you. Don't take my girl from me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. I'm your buddy. Mwah. Um. <laughs> now I have to like remember the so like how, like how to form my mouth to do the southern voice. How do we get out of here? There we go. How do we get out of here? There's got to be an exit somewhere. Oh, that's it. All right. Well, bye. I guess. Bye, girlies. Okay. Now we can go hang out with with um. With uh, Poopica. Hey yo. I guess I should press the doorbell. Um, listen. You know, Makoto. I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm. Should I talk to Saika for a while? Are you going to try and cheer me up? With this dick! No, just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> what? Sorry for making you take time out for your day like this. What else am I to do? Sayaka, what else is there to do? We're trapped here, honey. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. I don't like that it went... D like, that makes it look like... What, you think they didn't? Saika and I grew a little closer today. I don't know, maybe Monokuma is handing out condoms, I don't know. Would you like to give Saika- do I have anything I can give her? What would you like to give her? We don't have anything she likes. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm gonna give her the crust of the school that's about to murder all of us. What's- what's the other thing that I got? Yeah, I don't think she'd like that. Just kidding. I don't- Game, I don't have- I need it. No, stop! <laughs> game! <laughs> I don't have don't any- Don't the game! Um, I don't have anything uh, for her. Do you think you should make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? <laughs> Makoto, I'm pregnant. <laughs> well, I, it's just... I guess that's, that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. She's too serious. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, You're um... the father for a child now, Makoto. <laughs> if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions. But... I'm relieved you're with me. Hitsu's like, what would you like to give her, Iris? <laughs> what would you like to give Sayaka? Sayaka, standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Oh, they're so cute together. Really? 
Thank you for flattery. That smile. Aww. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. No. Well, it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Yeah, you could, Makoto. I mean, everybody in this universe does way worse all the time. You would be the least creepy person to her, probably. At least she likes having you around. Think about poor Sonia. Oh god, and anything that Teru Teru says, oh god. Alright, Blast, have fun yeah. playing Overwatch. Have fun, on Wait, uh, how do you know I never looked at you? The surveillance cameras. Hey, um... <laughs> because I looked at you all the time. With the secret webcam. Okay, that makes Sayaka kind of creepy. <laughs> Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. No. She's so serious! She's like, Ugh. <laughs> She's angry he didn't stalk her or something. You wanted to talk to me? What? But since I already had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um... Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into school pond? Don't don't call my mom that, Sayaka. That's not fair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It was like our fairy tale. The turtle once every million years, that bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... Was it a crane? It was a crane. No, yeah, that feels... That feels right. Because in the legend, it's a crane. Oh, okay. How, the, crane. how the fuck was I supposed to know that? You weren't. You oh, were okay. doomed to fail. Oh. It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. Don't use this right. She's like, oh! <laughs> you knew it was a crane! <laughs> it makes it sound like he did something terrible to the crane. <laughs> fucking cooked it and ate it. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you led into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. That's because you're a bunny, Makoto. You're a natural fit for school animals. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Who cares? Fuck you, Iris, you insult virgin! What? How dare what? you say that? What the f- First of all, <laughs> language on my- on my- my Catholic stream. Second of all, insult virgin, I- I would argue not thank you. Uh... I... Aww... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I yeah, I kind of figured. But... Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always want to talk to you. Even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. When it says this weird school. Yeah, fuck this school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like the crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition. 
I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> <sighs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I oh, sorry. That's all right. Saika's okay. report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You unlock the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Cool. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Ding dong bing dong! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I still love that he has a cocktail. Like, he's the stressed one. He's like, oh, it's so stressful managing all these kids, making sure they don't get pregnant before they die. Like, <laughs> it is already come to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear. Immediately falls asleep. As my eyelids began to slide close, the conversation I had with Saka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into this school the way I did. I, so I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess I might explain my own frustration. Malakuma Theater! Ahem, so I'm sure that you've noticed that the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. <laughs> I think that's the that's the motto of the whole franchise at this point. Yes. It seems our newest students already filled with so filled with despair still have some hope of escape. Hoo hoo hoo! So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Thank you, Manyokuma. Thank you, Papa Kuma. Morning has come. What should I do today? Free time! Oh, let's go bother some girls! <laughs> Yes! I know there's a killing game going on and everything, but like... I wanna go bother some... some... some women. Um, nope, wrong. There we go. Uh... Let's see, they're in there. Who's in... Where's Celeste? Coco's in here. Let's see. Um, if you use Q and E, you can go to other parts of the school. Oh! 
Yes. No, no, we should no, no. Uh, uh, Junko. Junko. Yeah, Junko is a good idea. Yeah. She and Hifumi hang out quite a bit. Yeah, I wonder what's up with that. You could have teleported with the map. Oh my god. No, I, I'm telling you that's not a thing that I can do with it. You can do it now. Okay. God damn. Oh, skeet skeet. Oh, skeet skeet, motherfucker. Oh, skeet skeet. God. See, it won't let me do it. You can teleport right outside of it. Oh, go. okay. Shut up. You're so mean to me all the time. You guys see what I have to go through? I am. Oh my I God. am so mean to you all the time. I want to hang out with, with, with June June. I guess they're watching anime together. Ooh, what's in here? There's nothing inside. Oh, okay. There's nothing inside. Are you for real? Pupcat! Pupcat! See, told you it was a good idea. Oh, we have too much freaking spare time. How could anyone live like this? It's impossible. No way. Can't do it. Totally impossible. Hmm, should I hang out with Jinko for a while? Yes. Hmm. I don't mind hanging out, but you better keep me in. Hey! Stop reading my lines. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite your little earsies and then go chew on them. I'm like, I'm nim 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 nim. Oh no, not my earsies! I spent some time with Junko, but I'm not sure she was satisfied. I mean, it really the fate to black really makes it seem like he's just fucking every girl he meets. Oh my god. No, that looks satisfied. Jinko and I grew a little closer today. I don't have anything that she'd like. I think she'd like the toy. Oh. Listen, I just want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me. Yeah. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? Yeah? After the fate of black? <laughs> Wait, you mean- No, 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 I'm not expecting anything like that. Come on. I figured, you're not that kind of guy, right? Oh, look at her little smile. Looking at you, I get a total Omega male. <laughs> don't- Don't use Omega, oh god. <laughs> ah, I'm a- <laughs> Makoto's an Omega. Ah, ah. Red. Uh, <laughs> no, there's your bunny. What well, Omega, right? So Omega, that's what Omegas do. Yeah, I guess. But still, they say even the tamest guy can turn into a wild animal. So I figured I'd say it anyway. A wild animal. Don't ask me why, but I seem to attract guys like you, or like that. I guess. It's probably because she's so. Um, flashy. What the? They call me up super late at night, like, hey, let's hang. Like, I don't know what that means. Let's hang. It sounds so simple. But why super late at night? And why? They want to go hang gliding! Oh, you just went hang out? Yeah, Mako is Makoto a fucking space alien? He's the least normal person here! Good lord! Huh? Hang gliding! Hang gliding! Huh? Did you just come to a decision or something? Uh, no. Uh, forget it. Are you for real? Anyway, so we all get together, but the whole group's full of dumbasses. Keeping creepos like that away is like a full-time job, you know? Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're modeling all, so you must be really popular. Huh? Wow, Makoto, you actually get it. <laughs> you do get it, right? You totally get me. No, stop. Get it is like the most romantic thing Junko could tell you. Yeah, um, honestly. You? Totally. Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometime. One of them's name is... Never mind, actually, never mind. I was about to spoil something by accident. <laughs> oh, never mind. Kamakura, Kamakura, yes, queen. Anyway, so what's your type? You're super passive, right? So you need an aggressive uh, girl. Wait, wait. Say the her, the original line. Her people boys and carnivore girls. Oh my god. So what's your type? You're super, super. What like? Has the race? You need a, 
You're an no, herbivore. No, no, wait, 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 you're, you're, wait, wait. Oh my god, I. <laughs> the original line is So, what's your type? You're a herbivore boy, right? So, what you need is a carnivore girl. Manager Bunny is holding up a little phone with her little pausies right now to record this and record me saying it. Yes, I am. So, what's your type? You're an herbivore boy, right? So, you need a, a carnivore girl. There. How's that? Cute. <laughs> real? Cute. Yeah, I think that'd be good for you. Someone who'll go after you and not give up. No, I don't really. Yeah. I'll find the perfect girl for you as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're as excited as I am. Junko seemed really excited as she walked away. I don't really get it, but I guess she likes hanging out with me. <laughs> Junko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. When do you roll? Oh, oh. sorry. It's alright. <laughs> Sometimes I just get really clicky. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's still lots of time left in a day. I really don't feel like you're sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Do, 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 do. Stop. Uh, sure, let's... Oops, I Hello! <laughs> Out for a walk, Makoto? <clears throat> I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. <laughs> hmm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Let's talk to Sayaka. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go for a walk. I think it'll help cheer the both of us up. I enjoyed a long, well, leisurely walk with Sai. Where are they walking? Like, in a circle around the fucking... I mean, this school is fucking huge. Yeah, but they only have the first floor, and there's like, there's like, three feet of space there. Saka and I grew a little closer today. I promise you guys that the, the, there's, there's murders and stuff in this game, just... Um, I've never gotten to play these free time events, plus it's fun to get to know the characters and... and Get... The fact that this is the best part of the game, the dating sim. The game group skipped it. That's because they are Philistines who don't appreciate the artistic value of dating sims. Well, also because they didn't want the playthrough to be like 3,000 episodes long, so they just did the plot that's their... only. That's their problem. That's they true. skipped the best part. Hmm. Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again. What's going on? Saka, what do you want? Um... And so polite again, I'd like to ask... Oh my Did god! What? what? <laughs> That's like way out of nowhere! Imagine if Toko <laughs> Imagine if Toko popped up right now and was like, yeah, his sister. Or whatever. So there's this running gag. Um... It's really gross, but like, because it's so gross, it's so funny. There's this running gag that Toko... In in, um, in Ultra it, Despair Girls. Yeah, in Ultra Despair Girls, basically, is always making fun of uh, um, Makoto's little sister Komaru, saying that sh she's into her own brother. With like in this, it isn't like there's no evidence for that. Like Toko just says shit like that for some reason. She envies Komaru for having a happy family. So she just relentlessly bullies her. Yeah, so it's like, it's really, it's really funny because it's sad and weird. So imagine if Toby just popped up right now, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Come oh, on. I could imagine that. I could perfectly imagine that. Um... Yeah, it doesn't help that Toko is super possessive about Komaru either. Yeah, honestly. Huh? Are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, I don't. A girlfriend? Not at all. Then, at least have a crush on someone? J just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking all these questions? Bitches be out here asking questions. Makoto is so dense. He has girls throwing themselves at him non-stop and he doesn't even realize it. Typical anime, man. Absolutely. I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not it's bad. I... But it's only natural, I'd be curious, right? Because we're... Fucking. 
We're fucking. Oh. We should do the same thing together. That too, I guess. And fucking together, I guess. <laughs> Classmates. But although that's not all, all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. Uh, more than that? You're my baby daddy. <laughs> We're friends. We've been friends since middle school in a way. Yeah, Sayaka sounds like a stalker. Yeah, she kinda does. That's true. Yeah, that Junko said he needs a carnivore girl. Yeah, we're friends, of course. Uh, uh, wah, wah, wah. So, aren't you going to ask me? What? what? Huh? I, I feel like every time somebody's not directly talking to him, Makoto Makoto's mind and consciousness just leave his body. And honestly, I can relate. <laughs> like that this is me all the time. I just I'm not present in any conversation ever. Yeah, B can relate as a as a fellow uh, cool guy disease sufferer. <laughs> um, listen. No, not what? Aren't you going to ask if I have a boyfriend or not? I mean, it's not like I don't want to know. Of course, I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh no! Nope. I definitely don't. Then, then she's like, "I got a girlfriend named Junko. Come here, babe." And then they both make fun of you for being an herbivore boy. <laughs> Wait, Which I, I feel like I've read a, a couple fan fictions of. Oh my god. <laughs> The truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Th then... <laughs> Do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> I wonder... Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Um, we're in a killing school situation right now, so if we could, like... What? It's the best time to fuck. Just before you die. <laughs> Ninja Bunny, please. Yacht. Sayaka stared straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were tinged with red. That means it's not Makoto, though. Like, you would not look right into the eyes of somebody you had a crush on, I don't think. I would. Alright. Well, that's because you're a carnivore bun. See? Just like Sayaka. <laughs> You're a herbivore bear and I'm a carnivore bun. Don't you ever say that about me. I can say whatever I want. There's I'm... nothing you can do about it, you herbivore. I'm gonna fucking microwave you. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the microwave. Don't... I'm a bun, not a hamster. You can't do that. Don't, don't think I won't, bitch. I'm gonna just <laughs> shove you in my, in my fucking oven. I'm gonna cook you. I'm not even gonna eat you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put you in the oven and cook you. <laughs> I love you, manager bun. Uh... Good, you should. All right, damn. <laughs> Wait, me? What? But I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out oh, of sorry. here is all that matters. <laughs> I get, I get, I, I, this is, this is clicker happy havoc for me. Hey, um... Yes, exactly, I was just gonna say. Let's get out of here together, Makoto, no matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? That's such a romantic thing to say in a killing game. Like, never let me betray you. That's so romantic. Aww. Yeah, of course, I would never turn my back on you. I want you to know something, Makoto, and I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. Aww. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. That Makoto, my boy, is called an erection. <laughs> Man, Congratulations on finally hitting puberty. <laughs> Congratulations on your on your bonner. It was like her smile was a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is my one source of courage. Aww. 
my bond with her makes me stronger. Aww. So I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Sayaka. It's like it's like how all the all like all the promo material for this game has him and Sayaka on the front. It's actually pretty cute. <laughs> it is. I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. What you heard me? Like I said, I'm so I love that. I love that that she keeps saying that. <laughs> it's so charming, honestly. Okay. Kidding, I just have really good intuition. I really and I really like imagining that Makoto believes her every time. She gets like real serious and in his face and she's like he's like, Oh, really? And she's like, fucking no, you fucking sub zero IQ fucking ape. What are you like of course not, idiot. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this is absolutely a series with psychic powers. Yeah, and ghosts, canonically. So Makoto is just being smart here, covering all his bases. Yeah. But is that really what you were thinking? Um. Well. Anyway, let's just help each other out and get out of here, no matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. Hmm? I'm gonna do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Aww. Saga's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. After Vine decided to give it my all, I went back to my room. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Since since we're so close, Manager Bunny, how about we go to uh, 11037? Sure. It'll be a little bit over my hard stop time, but uh, we're so close. Let's go for it. Okay. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I? No. We. When are we gonna get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fall into an uneasy sleep. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> I need an immediate, fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving into regret. What do you think guides the world's speed, of course? That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Hey, that's homophobic, Monokuma. Excuse you. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick-me-up. Also, most of the Monokuma theaters make no fucking sense uh, in, in English. They may make more sense in Japanese, but they definitely don't make fucking sense in English. But... This one makes sense in context of what's going to happen. That's true. You're right. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. I imagine somebody just like staying in bed be like, nah, I don't really feel like it today. And Monokuma like literally coming to their room and just like fucking kicking them off the bed. Just this little bear robot be like, eh. <laughs> you know? Your bear paws smacking you awake. Day. Actually, let, maybe we should just stop at that incident. 
Well, right now. When we get to that point. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I mean was like... Um, let's just go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind... The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Ah, Jesus. Hi, Taka. A fantastic morning, isn't it? I forgot you existed. Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you pardon the inter interruption... Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Hi. God, he's still wearing his shoes. <laughs> What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the storm he sees me batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? How can you take that way too literally? That's how you can overcome any storm. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all need to really come together. That was when I realized. Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. What is this, a fucking, like, furry con? What, like... Got it! God damn. That's all for now. I have to go to let everyone else know the good news. Is that good news? Who knows? Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. Taka is like the most overbearing dad ever. He is. You want your parents to get a divorce just so you don't have to spend time with him. <laughs> yeah. True. I, st I love the aesthetic of this game so much. Hello, Taka. Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Why are there quotes around that? Who knows? No breakfast, Quiet I guess. Listen. See, no one's actually eating. God. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. I didn't make time for this shit, you dragged me here. <laughs> Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but... In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting, to allow us to become friends and build trust. Look at the look on Makoto's face, he's like, ugh. Can I switch he's, seats? He's so fed up with this. He's right between the two worst people, and right in front of you are a bunch of babes he can't get, get with. Exactly. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! <laughs> you, you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before, I'm not sure. What? He's so horny for the concept of breakfast with other people. What? To to oh, poor no, Toki. <laughs> this is why she bullies Komaru. Ah, oh, Toki. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. Well, Leon, that's because you kind of suck. No offense. But more important, your parents don't even like you. <laughs> right. Your 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 cousin for some reason did, but <laughs> you know. Um. Well, and <laughs> well. Anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any, with any clues? Silence echoed through the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! 
anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Look at her little, look at her little vein pop. So oh, mad, it's so cute. She's so mad. Are you okay with this? Oh my god, so what? Jesus. Celeste. <laughs> what a great That's screenshot. Thank you, Celeste. Huh? She huh? just breaks into your personal space to tell you that. Do you understand? If you cannot stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. Jungo's gonna fucking throw down. J Jungo's just gonna like, like just one day just snap, just start chucking knives at everybody. He's like, like. I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, sounds what? like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way am in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> hmm? Sure. Feel free. Uh, okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. <laughs> yeah. Why else would be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... <laughs> she just starts crying. Poor girl. <laughs> As always. Aww. Huh, what's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre... Chiro is best, girl. True. Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain mur murderous fiend? A murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all y this? Chihiro, is there a reason you didn't bring this up, like... Two years ago, or whatever, whenever we got here. When did we get here? Three days ago. I don't know. With these people, it feels like two years. Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but. Got it! Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. I'm such a dickhead Who that, like. You the authority. Right? Who like. Gave you the I'm such a dickhead that if Taka said that, I would just start throwing out, like, all all of my subconscious thoughts. Like, as irrelevant as they as they would be. Like, I'd be like, God. Uh, God. Ugh. You know? Okay, well... Oh, her little thinky face. Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? Y you mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? And a monstrous villain has murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him... Hmm. Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. Thank you, Bakia. Oh, you're not telling anyone anything new. That's all stuff on the news. <laughs> True. <laughs> they say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend, though, right? I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. Eh. Mm. <laughs> eh. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. <laughs> she was like, "Oh, interesting." Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But Chihiro does kind of look like a true crime girly. A little bit, yeah. But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Thank you, Leon. Yeah! <laughs> it's okay, everything is absolutely positively 100% Without a doubt, going to be okay. Cause help is gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Huh? H help? Cause, I mean... 
we've been stuck in here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. Wow. The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Bastard. What are you doing here? You guys? You guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them and that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you really want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Monokuma says A-Cab, I guess. I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So. Oh, wait. Uh, so, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, <laughs> come on. We know who you really are. <laughs> Guys, this is my favorite Monokuma sprite. I love his little his little butt, his little back spray. He's like, nah. <laughs> It's my favorite. This is what I look like from the back. <laughs> maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a hey, bitch. don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun. And a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. Yeah, it's very, why is everyone so mean to me? There's a there's a part in the second game where M Monokuma has that sprite, and and he's like, oh, the, the, the skills of a gamer get me again. It's so funny. Like, <laughs> it's such a meme. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start. Oh, wait, sorry, that's because... <laughs> Now I'm stealing your lines by There's accident. Nothing. It's okay. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, I think- Yes! Ding ding ding, I figured it out! In other words- All the mystery ingredients are here, right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there is one very important piece missing. Wh what are you- Shing! If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's a motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, um. Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, how exciting. Monica is very horny. Oh, oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. Hehe. <laughs> Ooh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. Before we do that, I'd like to know. You. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Despair. That's all. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Hmm. That line is actually creepier in retrospect. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you, too! Wow. Falls through the floor. <laughs> He's gone. Once again, he left before he could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so. Mon just started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. 
Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Love that voice line. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around! You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah! Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Um... I can't decide if Mod is totally dependable or completely terrible. I think it could be both. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks Makoto. Makoto's got me on this yeah, one. I'd... Yeah, I'd have to say it's kind of both. <laughs> He's not exactly a bad person. But I definitely can't say he's a good person either. Hmm. What makes you say he's not a bad person? He's done literally nothing except be an asshole. <laughs> so then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... Probably the AV room, right? Probably. If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... Yeah, prob probably the... probably the fucking... The room where, uh... The anime room. The anime room, that's right. Uh... How to speak first floor. Me... me... there we go. Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe I am going the right way. Uh, did I teleport to the wrong fucking place? Am I dumb? Nope, you're right place. Am I fucking back, stupid? Back, 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 back. You have to go backwards. Uh, okay. They're in the corner! Right, okay. Ah, there we go. What would I do without you? I have no idea. This would be it, right? It should be it, I imagine. Yeah. There we go. Next to Mort is a high-end DVD player. It should be able to play DVDs. What about Blu-rays? Come on, Monokuma. But I don't see any actual disc nearby. A DVD player is used by itself. If we had something to watch, at least that'd help pass the time. Right. Okay, but like, yeah. Is there something in the box? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's something inside this cardboard box. It's um. a bunch of DVDs. And each one had a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I'd better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her, I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. Well, what do I see? What? You press this again? Oh, okay, no. What about this? Next to the mart is a high-end TV. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe, I'll just wa Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through DVDs I found in box and found the one with my name on it. Then I sit in the expensive-looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen, and then... Uh -huh. 
I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Oh, look, look at young Komaru. Because what I saw on that monitor... Komaru is so cute. Honestly. It was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? Aw, baby Komaru. If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope Speak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't gonna end there. I hated having that feeling, but... It turned out I was absolutely right. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi, accepted into Hope Speak Academy, and his family, who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like... Something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? <laughs> oh, Monokuma. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! Oh, whoa! Makoto knows big boy words. I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now! I need to make sure everyone's safe! Uh. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance of the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um... um what's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it... like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed a DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? What? What the fuck? <laughs> huh? This can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. <laughs> yeah, no way, it's real. <laughs> no way. I, I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore! Let me out of here! As soon as I knew the reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is a classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. 
But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance one army may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scale back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> so that's, that's smart. Like, like uh, f people often overlook that she's f she's fairly smart in some regards. That kind of sounds a like us right now. Celeste does. Celeste is unstable, but she is a genius. Oh yeah. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? What is this? What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then, maybe we should all start by just talking. Maybe we all just talk about what we saw. That'll help us get everything out of our system. Hmm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's video. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Oh, poor Sayaka. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Say? That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that! I have to go make sure she's okay! <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her, personally. What? Nuclear femcell. <laughs> That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Do you want to go find Sayaka? Now let's talk to Kyoko. Okay. Kyokers! What was in your video, Kyoko? Well... Why should I tell you? She's so mad. Shihiro? What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? <laughs> Why? How can something like that even exist? I just don't understand. I don't... Be able to do something like that. Is it because they really are the murderous fiend? We gotta Sakura. talk to- we gotta talk to Sakura. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. You're overpowered, you must accept your death. That- that is the way of my family. Damn. But still, I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? Anybody else? Hifumi. Hifumi's would be really funny. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Hold on. There we go. What was in your video, Hifumi? Um... <laughs> so it would seem. 
Before you go asking someone else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I... Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works. Alright. Alrighty. Now shall we exit? Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. Do, 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 do. Where did she go? Oh, hi, Hina. Where did she go? Maybe, maybe. Oh wait, hold on. Will the will the the map what? tell us? I wonder. Uh, everybody's in there. Okay. They're down there because they don't give a shit. You're there. Um. I don't think it. I don't think it says. Maybe she's back at her room. Worth checking out. Okay. Oh, there we go. Saga, 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 what's up, girl? Are you here? Oh, sorry. Once again, click happy. Sayaka? No answer. I guess I have to keep looking. Alright, um... No, stop. Uh... Where else might Girly be? I don't think she'd be with Mondo and Celeste. That doesn't seem like the kind of place that she'd hang out in. Um... I don't think she'd be in the gym either. Actually, I- Ah, Celeste, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> what a jump scare! Lord, oh yeah, that's true. Maybe she's in our room. Maybe she fled to our room. Oh. Okay. Um. Let's talk to Celeste. So, hey, Celeste. What's up? Hey, baby girl. What was in your video, Celeste? Huh? Oh, it is you. <laughs> You really want to know, don't you? That, that smile... It's strangely scary. Is that okay? There are many, many things in this world you are better off not knowing, don't you think? Well, that's scary. It is, but also... Let's just talk to everyone, and then maybe Sarah will pop up after that. Okay. Um... That's usually how these things go. At some at some point we'll have to tell you guys what was on Celeste's because if it's it, very cute. It's very cute actually. <laughs> and sad in a way. Alright, anybody any of y'all little bitches in here? No, yes, maybe. No? Okay. Obviously not. I don't know why, yeah, I don't know why I was looking around like they'd pop up or something. Um, Ma oh, Mondo's around. Yo, Mon Mondo Butter, where are you? Do, 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 do. Mondo, there he is. What was in your video, Mondo? What? Huh? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. <sighs> It was fake anyway. It had to be. Whoever's doing all this just pulled it out of his ass. Stop fucking Why does nobody want to talk about it? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Those assholes can't fool me. Okay. Uh, let's see who else. Um, I think that's everybody down here, so... Uh, let's, we'll go talk to Hina. Hina! Do, do, do. Yo, Hina. Um. 
Where did Sayaka run off to? Uh, anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. Because, I mean... If it's fake, right? It's got to be. I love Hina. We all love Hina. I just want to give her head pats. Yes. I'd like to believe that, but... If it was real... Let me see. Uh... Oh, Leon, go fucking talk to stupid Leon. Oh, I, I ported right here. Cool. Um, where is he again? I immediately forgot. The main hall. I see. I see. I see. Yo, Leon. Will you tell us what was in your video and? Why it was your cute cousin? <laughs> that's not that's not a spoiler, is it? That's not really that's not a spoiler. No, I mean, it's not. A spoiler. It's not. It has nothing to do with anything. I'm not gonna tell you, and that's all there is to it. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. No way, hell no, no way in hell. You. You're just acting all nice. So I'll tell you what what you want to hear. You can't fool me. What the hell? Damn it! How the hell did I get footage of that? I don't think sharing any of those things is gonna... I don't know. <laughs> Everyone is pretty paranoid. Yeah, everybody's being really paranoid. Well, I guess if we have to... If, maybe we have to talk to everybody, so... Um, let me talk to the other... I think we didn't talk to... Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, who else have we not talked to? Is there anybody else we haven't really talked to? Oh... Junko. Yo, Junko, what's up, girl? But more important. Hey, Makoto, aren't you like super curious what's in everyone's videos? Oh, she's in classroom 1A. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> right? I could totally tell. But does that mean you can tell me what's in yours? Hmm. Who knows? It all depends on what kind of mood I'm in, you know? I don't think she's gonna tell me. Alright, thanks for being useful, Junko. Jeez, and here we gave you a pre Oh no, we didn't give her a present. That's why she's being such a we bitch to us! Damn! Yeah, exactly. That's why she's being such a dick to us. Boys' bathroom, girls' bathroom... The They're up here, right? No, stop, please. Okay. There we go, yes. Whoa! We run! We run! Uh, 1A, is that what you said? Yes. Hi! Hi, Silver! I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, sitting absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset, or angry, or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What we did. To, what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Why? Why? I want out. Let me out of here right now. Saiga, calm down. As she trashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our compulsion, stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, 
people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Hmm. Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince her just as much, convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens... Then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. Aww. Kuro's a good boy -o. He is. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Aww. Sayaka, Aww. Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. Aww. <gasps> Poor thing. Finally, she raised her face up. From my chest. She looks at me with those big wet eyes of hers. Makoto! No. Oh. Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Makoto! No. Oh. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust. So please. I forgot how sad her little crying sprite is. No matter what it happens, is. please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. No. I can get through this as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. <laughs> I'm probably gonna cut She's the vod so up, cute. Bina. I'll probably cut the vod up. I don't. I never post directly to YouTube. I, I, uh, I have. I cut stuff. I cut the beginning parts out usually. Um, but this one will probably be split into two or three. But yeah, she's so cute. I love her little smile. That smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. <laughs> this part's great. No oh, gross. It's standing up! Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing up? Come on. Do, do you even have to ask? Yes. Yes. You're flagpole! Get the hell out of here! <laughs> do, you, do you guys see what, what I mean now when I say this This game is like... It's never- it's like very tragic and, and two seconds later something fucking ridiculous will happen. Like, Rampa is a definition of bathos. It's it's surreal. This is surrealist fucking art. Like just a minute. No, no, I wanna join in. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it, well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. <sighs> oh, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out, my pristine, pure white yeah! stuffing! My honest innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled up my fist, <laughs> took aim, and swung as hard as I could. B is having a meltdown in the chat right now. <laughs> B's like, what is this game? <laughs> you thought this game was going one way, <laughs> but... I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. If you, if, if you think that's weird, 
Danganronpa 2 is like non-stop these moments. Something really f fucked up and sad will happen and then Monica will be like, hey, and then fart or something, like... <laughs> I lean back, channeling all my power and let go with everything I had. That was a big noise for a little <laughs> man. <laughs> He's that angry. Uh, are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Hey! But boy, are you slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar, a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. And I sink into the floor. <laughs> What the heck was that just now? Sayaka, I'm so sorry you had to see that, sweetie. He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um... Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. One of whom might come along and swiftly destroy the good mood we just created. No hope allowed. <laughs> Sayaka and I headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone Sayaka was okay. Once I was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I need some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? Oh, is that the question you have, Makoto? He's doing his best here. There's just so many problems. Also, the description of Danganronpa 2, poor Papa Hajime. <laughs> That's true. Except for Papa Hajime, it's I can't even decide who the biggest problem is. <laughs> it's Komeda. It's always Komeda. Yeah, it's true. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? But the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime is about to start. So how come someone's here? Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by since so late. Asayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? We're, go we're going a little over how long I wanted to go, but we're so fucking close to a big part that I I, I want to get to that part. That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. I is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm stupid. Sorry. Wah, 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 wah. So there we go. Something weird? Makoto. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room. 
And all of a sudden, my daughter started shaking, rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared, I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still... It makes me nervous. If something like that happened in the middle of the night, what would I do then? Y you don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during night time. But... But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decides to break that promise... But then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? All it said in school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't say specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is, you know... Uh, uh. Oh jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Makoto... Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. It probably didn't. He's he's such a he's such a little child. He's such a oh, um... boy. He really is. No, I know. There, it's not even a mindy idea, but um, if you don't mind, we need to switch rooms just for tonight. Switch room. If you'll help, you put your mind at ease and it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but I you sure you're okay with me staying in yours. That doesn't like concern you. <laughs> it's fine, I trust you. In that case then It is now time I'm just gonna skip through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, 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 we know. We know. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's the oh same man. every time. <laughs> oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll hit your room right now. Oh, if we're going to trade rooms, we better trade key too. Yeah, that's right. We have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm psychic. Huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say you're just kidding? Big reveal, guys. She's psychic. No, just kidding. What if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness. It looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchange oh, keys and when I look back at her again, there was another worried expression there. Uh, um... Uh, well, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Santa. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. Just in case you need to use the shitter tonight, Sayaka. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. 
Just do that and door should open, no problem. Um... Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Well, maybe she's gotta take a shit at some point tonight. Like, it's not just the shower. Nobody loves shit more than you. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Saika. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before... Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. No, he didn't. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Saika gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good. There's nobody here. Making sure nobody was on to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. She's got a little pink bed. It's cute. The girls' rooms have pink, the boys' rooms have blue sheets. Gender! Yes. Yeah. So this is Saka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but... Nope. <laughs> oh, Alright, Makoto. No. Uh oh Okay, so now you're a teenage boy! And really? Slept on makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. Okay, so underneath all that good boy attitude, he really is just a teenager. Oh, we got a coin for that, though. <laughs> Glad we got money for being weird. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. Really? Mak Makoto? Oh my god. It's his Oshi. She's, you know, you have to do that if it's your Oshi. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was a DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. In the adult video room. <laughs> yes. A surveillance camera. Makes sense there'd be one in here. My room came with toolkit, but Sack has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map of the body's vital. Well. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. I don't think Saka would like me snooping around too much. What? Then what the fuck were you just doing, Makoto? I should probably go to bed soon. It's his Oshi's room. There's a derangement that occurs. Oh my god. As I lowered myself onto Saka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Saka's scents. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. I hope it I does. I love it when Makoto actually acts like a teenage boy for once. Honestly. He's such a goody two shoes most of the time. It's nice to see him be a little more frisky. Frisky? Is that how you're putting it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. Marokuma Theater. Hold on. Oh, okay. Imagine you're on a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. 
You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! A lot of a lot of the Monokuma theaters are, are creepy in, in retrospect. I can't wait till you guys see the they ending are. with us. Yeah. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! What's up? Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Sup, Monokuma? I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered that I was in Saika's room. He's like, I'm the pyromaniac. <laughs> I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I'd better get going. I left Saka's room and made my way towards the dining hall. Hello, everybody. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. Thank you, Taka. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Good morning. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a smiley Sakura. I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone would arrive on time to be considered model high school. Hina, a model high school. I, I like, don't know about that. I like that Hina is a model high schooler. And the ones who showed up a little late. <laughs> and B's like, this is the best breakfast group. I don't know. True. Get rid of. They are, they are. And get rid of Taka. Now, Taka would be Yo. great for breakfast because he'd be giving everyone food, True. he'd be serving everyone. True. Yo! Sorry! So sorry, I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well... My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning uh, duty took a little longer than usual. Don't tell us that. Where do times with a more relaxed sense of time? Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. <laughs> I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. The clock revolves around Celeste. Celeste does not revolve around the clock. My bad. My She's bad. a princess, after all. Exactly. My bad, guys. Slipped right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? Is it so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope. Got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're kind. They're the kind to move at their own pace. Hero probably doesn't know how to tell time. <laughs> True. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that was how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Oh. Yeah, Saika and Biakia aren't here yet. I don't know about Biakia, but. I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, why is he so smug? Yeah, why was he smug? 
Why is he smiling? Don't, dude, don't smile at shit like that. It makes you look it weird. It makes me so, so suspicious. It's a miracle no one beats him to death right away as a mastermind. Honestly. Did she if forget? me, I... I just blame Togami from the very start. Oh, He's the mastermind. same. He's so suspicious. Same. Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However... I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that... A small, dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. Uh, I need to go. I have to check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. What the hell? I'd better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry that we fucked with you guys and acted like that this was the Sayaka and Makoto show. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rip in peace. Rip in peace, Sayaka Maizano. You are you are our lovely idol angel. <laughs> You're is, also a very dead idol angel. B is having a meltdown in the chat. He's like, ah! is he, oh yeah, he's losing it. <laughs> Outside, it was so fun pretending we were going to hang out with her all game. Yeah, yeah. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. Chapter 1, Deadly Life. Is it going to let me say... Oh, no. Okay. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at the huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah, you're awake. Finally, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um. You're unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Aw, oh, thanks, hero. Well. It's no surprise considering what happened. Reliable. What happened? Ah! Um. Hey, are you okay? Hina, no. Like. <laughs> so it wasn't a dream? What I saw. It was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hmm. Hey, where do you think you're going? Yeah, really, where are you going, Makoto? I have to see for myself! I have to see if Sayaka is- if Sayaka is- 
Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to what? us, man. What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she's... She's dead! Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious, Monarch Kuma? He told us all to c come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. Can we? Can I? Can we? Oh no, we can't save in the middle of this. I guess. Okay. F one. F one. Oh. Yeah, we can save. Okay. We'll save. We'll save here. This is a good place to stop. All right, everybody. Psych is dead. See ya. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Psych is dead. We'll find out next week who did it. B's B's gonna have a meltdown the the whole week. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is when you play Danganronpa. Yep. Thank you all. So it's been almost fifteen years, and I'm still upset about a certain someone. <laughs> I'm crying, pissing, and shitting right now. <laughs> That's how so it is. That's how it is. I'm so sorry, right. B. Thanks um, for coming, everyone. It's been seven fucking hours. Yeah, oh my god, I didn't think it would take that long for us to get this this far. But yeah, thank you all for coming. We'll be back next week uh, at the same time. I don't know why my bot's not working, but you guys know where to find me anyway. Um, I'll be back. I will be back tomorrow playing Spore. Um, and we'll be back with this next Friday, same, starting at the same time. We'll find out who killed Sayaka, and maybe somebody else will die. Who knows? And go um, check out Raincoat if you can. Yeah, there's I a promise. new game from Nothing the- this 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 fearful will happen in Raincoat at all. Yeah, there's a new game from the creators of Danganronpa called Raincoat. It's not Danganronpa related, but apparently it's pretty good so far. Um, but, uh, we'll see you guys, uh, next week. And thank you all so, so much for coming. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye.